So Black Panther is coming, and to me, it's a very important movie. It's the first comic movie to have an African antagonist, and that's a real big deal. And I wanted to know if the public really agree with me on thinking that this is such an important film. I kind of just wanted to raise awareness for Black Panther, and the way I'm going to do that is I want to go talk to a bunch of people from my school and see if they really agree with me that this movie is going to be an absolute banger. Well, I mean, we're hoping it's going to be an absolute banger. So without really any further ado, let's go and talk to the public. You kill yourself, live like that. No, you can't live like that. I have seen gods. Oh Why? yeah, Black Panther. I've seen you know? men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh huh. Uh huh. I've seen aliens. Black. What are those flying things? Yeah. That's yeah. I haven't seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Good old Martin Freeman. Oh yeah. Let's go. I mean, from a media perspective, the color grading is really good. <laughs> Well, how would it be? Smug fucking face. Hey, Black Panther. Show me my respect and bow down. Hell yeah. Great actors. What's her name? Louboutin. Don't freeze. I never freeze. I never freeze. Are you ready for the darkness? The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. It's so fun. I like that dude. He's good looking. Hey, drop my bonus. Hey, can Rocky Balboa be in a movie of superhero? No, he doesn't. His suit can just phase onto it. Dude, yeah. This guy is the Superman and... Everything put together. Black. Black power. Black, Black Panther can't fly. What happens now determines what happens. Classic. Classic Jacko. It's gonna be so sick. Oh, those slow, those slow motion. Yeah, that's pretty. It is blame, that's cool as shit anyway. There's flying shit, there's transformer shit. Let's have some fun. Shit, you're losing your time! You're running in the air, man! Rest in peace, Toyota. Ooh, snap! Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! You know what? That's my motive for Valentine's Day. I don't care. Why Valentine's Day? I don't care. Why? Alright, so now you've seen the trailer. What did you guys think of the trailer? Shooker! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> When's it released? Uh, February 12th. Well, if it was possible to make love to this trailer, I would make sweet, sweet love to Black Panther. Is this like a sequel? No. I loved it. It's so good. I haven't seen it yet. I feel like they always put a bit too much in the trailers, but you made me watch it, so... Black, are you watching this? Are you Black Panther is the two? I liked it a lot, man. Sensational. Do you ever remember growing up and watching a black superhero? No! That he's like the first superhero of colour. No. 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 There was not one. I'm sure there was some in the comics or whatever, but I don't read comics. Mm, no, I don't. I do not. I do. <laughs> but they, obviously they weren't in like the limelight. There was like Falcon True. and War Machine who were black superheroes. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, I have. My dad, super my dad, my dad, my dad. My dad's a superhero. What does your dad do? He made me. I watch Disney movies. <laughs> Same. Frozone. No. I remember Frozone. <laughs> this movie is the first comic book movie to be set for the majority of the film in Africa. Do you think this is an important milestone in cinema history? Oh yeah. Yes, especially right now. That thing happened with the guy in the White House. He called Africa an asshole. So I feel like this is kind of like a slap across his face. Look at all the amazing things that they're doing. How beautiful the culture is. Definitely, definitely. I think Africa is very much portrayed nowadays as a very poverty-filled place. You know, like the other Avengers movies based in New York. I mean, people don't say, oh, I don't like New York. They might but it'd be because of traffic. But to have it in Africa is just change the scene, switching it up. Africa, creative. Africa, a, a actual country, though. You, uh, you take no, because I'm just You thinking, get on the plane, no, you go to Africa. I'm, no. no. I don't think it is. I mean, let's rephrase that. It is a milestone, but it shouldn't be. These films shouldn't only be based in like America, in Hollywood, in these exotic countries, or with these rich countries. It should just be spread across the world and it shouldn't have to be in Africa for it to be special, if that makes sense. There are so many superheroes and they're all white. Wonder Woman, and she's a woman. This is an all black cast and the superhero is a brother. 
the African. How does it make you feel that the kids of future generations are going to be growing up looking up to a black superhero as a role model? Great. I look at Obama. I'm not gonna, that's incredible. No, I want to have a son, Asa. My little brother's a seven year old one, loves superheroes. He dresses up, put on an Iron Man suit, a Thor suit. And when I grab him a Black Panther suit, he's gonna switch up the game. He's gonna look so cool against all these other friends. It shows there's a lot of diversity now compared to like, what, 10 years ago. You know, for future generations looking at Black Panther, he'll be a role model to them. I think that's what Marvel was trying to do, they're trying to shape iconic role models for children, iconic black superhero children will look up to will be Black Panther. Yes, yeah, that's I good. Think... I mean, kids don't really realise, they don't see race. I think it'll affect the way that they like, see the world as more diverse and have it in their subconscious. How do you think this movie is going to affect the world in terms of prejudice mindsets? What's prejudice, what's that? Um, if it will change the mindset, I'm not too sure. It should, because some people are closed-minded. Some people actually won't go and see it because some people are just stupid. If you are boycotting it for the sole purpose that it is a majority black, like, cast, you're a fucking idiot. It's got a lot of black empowerment. There's a, obviously, there's a lot of black main characters. The culture, it shows the, the rest of the world, and they do have their negatives, like any culture, but they also do have their positives. They have their great history, which can be cherished by the rest of the world, because some places, don't have such rich history and it just put, puts together the whole view of the world in the right place. Instead of the stereotypical black sidekick, now you have the main guy who's black. Yeah, that's sick. I think that's it. What is really smart is, is to see Infinity War. Is that what it's called? You have to see this. They link it in. Uh, that was something that I read. So you have to see this if you want to see Infinity War. Some DC fans have joined together and they've been trying to give Black Panther a bad Rotten Tomato score before the film has even dropped to stop people from watching it. What do you guys think about that? Justice League. Kiss my ass! <laughs> my brown ass! They ain't seen it, then they can't rate it, do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, and as a DC fan myself, I think it just gives DC a bad name. Like, it's just not, not DC a bad name, but DC fans a bad name. DC, yeah, yeah, in terms of their movies, is the shittest thing. Their programs are the shittest thing. Arrow, yeah, is fucking shit. shit. So there are fans of my channel that will attack you for saying Arrow. Look, like I shit. just said I don't give a fuck. Um, Batman vs Superman, Justice League. Arrow, The then, Flash, yeah. Suicide Squad, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow. That's the worst of the TV. <laughs> Woo! That's all I have to say. Last question is not as deep as the rest of them. Uh, will you guys go watch Black Panther? That is that question. Hey. Yes, bro. Yes, I will. Hey. You're the fucking will, bro. Yes, Definitely. of course. Oh boy. Yes. Yes. Actually, yes. in saying that, I still haven't seen fucking Thor Ragnarok. Probably not because I don't like the genre. Yes, I hate the genre, but I'm gonna watch it because they're looking people, flying <laughs> stuff. I'm not going to watch Black Panther once. I'm not gonna watch Black Panther twice. I'm gonna watch it as many bloody times as I can. Boom, gosh. One, two, three movies. One, two, I'll be watching it on that. I don't know about Put titty Locker. world. Black Panther. Hell. Black Yes! I'm gonna see it a good five times. Shadow Bosman, man. Black Panther. Watch it as soon as possible. Watch Black Panther. Thank or this watch. imaginary hamster will die. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, so I'm not going to talk for long because the main point of this video is not supposed to be me speaking to the camera. The Black Panther movie is coming out in a few days and I'm going to have a lot to say about it when it drops and I actually make my own review. But for now, I just want to talk about some of the things that are happening in the lead up to this film. And firstly, if at any points I seem it all off, it's because my girlfriend is literally sitting on the floor watching me right now. Shout. Hi. There you go. That was... That was her. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about with the movie is the pre-sale. The pre-sale for this movie is through the fucking roof. If I didn't know any better, I would say that this movie could possibly rival Infinity War. But I do know better, and I know that fucking nothing this year is going to rival Infinity War. To me, personally, that's amazing that we already have such a huge pre-sale. I want this movie to succeed. I think it's kind of vital this movie does succeed. And like some of the people said in the video, it's not just because this movie is set in Africa, and it's not just because it's a black cast that it has to be a good movie and it needs to make money. For me though, I just think it's important that this movie sets a kind of bar for the expectations we should have on superheroes now. It shouldn't be a convention in films for superheroes to be of a Caucasian race. That's wrong and that's something that should have been fixed years ago. So for me, it will be amazing to never have kids question skin colour again and make a big deal out of someone's skin colour because their superheroes are of any kind of skin colour. Our heroes should be from all over the world and I really believe that Black Panther will be the start of that trend. I think that these movies are going to become a lot more diverse 
universe and I'm hoping that Marvel in Phase 4, even though they've announced nothing yet for Phase 4, I really hope that they move away from New York City and from LA and from even really America as a whole. There are so many rich, incredible countries that I would love to see just stories of superheroes doing amazing things in these, these untouched amazing lands that we've never visited before in this kind of narrative. So yeah, bring on Black Panther. The early reviews have come in and from when I'm filming this video, that's sitting at 100% right now. So to those DC fans that tried to lower the score for this movie before it's released, you fucking failed. It's got incredible reviews. People are going to go watch this movie. And you guys know that of course, when it does come out, I'll have a lot to say. So I'll drop that then. Also something really random, but if my videos are a bit sparse over the next few weeks, I want you guys to know that it's not because I'm being lazy. It's because I'm spontaneously moving to LA for like possibly up to three weeks. So I might still be able to upload when I'm there. I might even film some stuff when I'm there. Or I might just start putting things up on like my other forms of social media and other channels. So all my social media is linked in the description. And if you want to go follow that, if you for some reason care about my life, if you want to go follow that, you can. And I'll be updating you know, things up on there. And also just a huge thank you to everyone at my college who got involved with this. It was a really fun video to film. Yeah, so everyone who got involved, if they have some form of Twitter or YouTube, I have probably linked them in the description. And yeah, to everyone who got involved, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And you know what? Share the video with your friends. They'll be proud of you. And also it gets me views. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. Bring on Black Panther, motherfuckers. I hope you all have uh, a wonderful time. I don't know what that means with anything. Very excited for the movie. Also, guys, I think it's really important that you uh, also watch DC's Legends of Tomorrow. I'd rather shit my hands in class. <laughs>